Hello guys, how are you? Uh, very small and modest inbox review. This is the model I propose myself to build on the Chancer and Radzi group build flying boats. Um, first of all, what captivated me on this one was the art box. The plane per se is very beautiful, but this is a very beautiful box art. Uh, I've never built an Azure kit before, so uh, honestly, I, I I cannot tell you if it's good or bad. Um, what I'm going to show to you is the interior, and the interior, as I looked at it, looked very very good to me but one thing is to look good another thing is to fit good so let's do this first of all top opener okay we get here in several languages all the content of the box as you can see Then we get the instructions with the history of the plane in several languages. Number of pieces and sprues. And steps on the builds with the paints with the paints and all okay engine and we get one two three options one two and three this is a collection of uh, Azure limited run plastics. It has a pretty uh, interesting um, number of kits like this here, Gyrocopter, the Hey 015. Um, it has a very, very good um, collection of uh, models. Now, You can see all the pieces come in one plastic bag, but very solidly wrapped. Um, the plastic is very thick. It's very, it's safe. I can almost say it's safe. It's not like that. Airfix. I don't like the airfix wrapping it, everything on one. Uh, I mean, airfix is great kits, no doubt about it. But now this. And the plastic comes actually, as you can see, it's the first time I'm opening this. Okay, now. Let's see this. Wow. Here, I don't know if you can see this, but. It has some very modest recessed panel lines with lots of detail here lots and lots of detail here it doesn't have any rivets okay <laughs> and it's not a joke <laughs> it doesn't have any actual rivets uh, I was only saying this in order to keep the that the, the detail you know um, I don't give a damn about about that in the interior we have uh, very few injector pin marks very few the plastic is is thick not very thick but it's firmly firmly enough firm enough to you know it's very good recessed panel lines here I don't know if you guys can see but uh, well 
I, again, I am sorry for this camera. I am actually trying to purchase new software, hardware, camera, an iPad or something like that, a new computer in order to be able to do some different kinds of videos. So, but this one, as you can see here, this detail here. Okay. Same thing here on the wing. This is a weathering paradise. All those ribs, you know, these ribs like you find in World War I planes. This is actually a, a 1935 plane, so, you know. This is the predecessor of the Walrus. So, it's very. This was made by the Supermarine, which was the same company that made the Spitfire. The Supermarine, as you know, it was a very good company doing um, seaboats, seaplanes. Um, actually, the, the plane that um, broke the speed record at that time uh, was a Supermarine. Um, I believe you British people know the designation of that plane. I cannot remember now. but. This plane, um, it was used for um, reconnaissance and uh, uh, anti-submarine and sea rescue at that time. Uh, the first attempt to trial uh, for a trial flight took place in September 9, 1938. So, as you can see, it's a very, it's a predecessor of the Walrus. So, but very good quality, very good quality pieces. No flash at all. As you can see, no flash at all. That amazes me, actually. I cannot see any kind of flash in any small piece here. See? I cannot even find a small residue of plastic. I don't care about lacking detail or interior detail or something because this is truly amazing. The cherry on top of the cake. Resin parts. What do we get here? Engine cowling. With some very good detail. Engine pieces also here, as you can see here. Oh! Jesus, I almost lost this one. I have to get... Wow, I didn't... You see, we have to be careful. See this little piece here? It's the wheel. The rudder of the seaplane. Damn! <laughs> I have to place this one on the... I'm glad I did this before, otherwise I would risk myself to lose one piece of this one. Such small pieces with such detail, you know? This is great. You can see. Even the engine. Look at this. Look at this here. Valves. Those valves in the engine. I'm sorry, I don't have the. It's great. Wow. I'm going to have a hard time cutting these. Hmm. But it's also a lot of fun, so. I don't care. <laughs> Look at this. It's great, it's just great. Wow, this is a very, I don't know what, for what this is. Well, I have to be doing uh, some 
updates as I go because I don't know the utility, uh, the use for this part. Another engine parts. Wow, this is the most for 170 second guys. Come on, this is beautiful. Whoa, I don't even know for what this is. Engine detail, engine cowling. Okay, this wraps it up. Oops, this piece here, another one. It's so small, you know, but we just have to be careful not to lose. Jesus. Wow. Now I'm pretty sure that I didn't miss anyone. Okay. Resin pieces, clear parts, all very well wrapped up. Uh, reminds me of those Edward kits, you know. Okay. Clear parts, very clear indeed. See here? I'm going to mask this one using masking tape. I rarely use um, Edward masking masks, uh, canopy masks. Um, sorry, Aaron, I'm not disagreeing with you, but um, I just have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm sorry, Freddy, also, but. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have. I have some masks over there, no problem. Uh, if I buy a model, second-hand model, which brings them or something, oh, I don't have any kind of problem with that. Come on. But doing this one here, this is going to be tediously fun. You know, tediously fun. I like masking those ones. And uh, some clear parts also for the windows, I, I'm supposing, yeah, suppose so. Now, decals. For the decals. Again, very, uh, very well. This is quality. This is... I mean, look at this. It's a bag with the stencils, with the photo edge parts. And what the photo edge brings is the cockpit, panel instrument, seat belts, some very, very small parts that will do will give me a very very pleasant headache look at this look at this net here this little net here with all those little I'm ashamed guys I don't have a camera to do justice to this one I'm sorry I'm so sorry and and another photo edge piece set with the uh, instruments here. See here the instruments to place on top of the other one. So, can you believe me? I mean, you are all seeing, I'm opening this for the first time. As you see, the, the, this plastic is being opened for the first time. It's sealed. It's fantastic. I mean, and this, this stencil here, the instruments, you know, the gogs and the, you know, oh, 
this is just great for a 170 second oh man look at this look at this I mean printed by every print okay they're not cartograph but they look see for yourself I mean shiny not very thick not very thin look at this and the way they wrap everything it's from a company who says I we like to build some models we consider ourselves professionals and we like you to think that and the plastic just again it's sealed it's protected it's fantastic decals look like very good clear parts these are awesome plastic parts they are truly good plastic is not very brittle it's thick enough to give some to be firm but not as flexible okay then resin parts sorry guys these are fantastic it has so many small pieces that I actually almost lost one or two and I have to be careful because these resin pieces they don't repeat itself here these are what they are they have only one purpose they don't they cannot be replaced by plastic pieces they are part of the whole I have to use them instructions look fine by me something the paints with three build options and uh, well they really 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 look very nice to me and this kit all wrapped in a bag which I what I said before what I said previously okay I am taking away what I said previously because if you noticed look at this this is not important but it's important when you do when you do a, a review on the on the kit itself and then want to protect again your pieces because you're not opening it and doing it at the that precise moment of time like I am now so look I can even place here the crystal parts and the protective decals and do this and it's brand new here's the first inbox review of this one the Azor 172nd Supermarine Sea Otter ASR Alpha Sierra, Sierra Romeo Mark II FAA Post War Service this will be the model that I'm going to use on chancers hi chancer by the way I'm sorry I was talking to you the other day but I was working I had to interrupt to speak with a citizen so I'm sorry I did not answer you back I don't want you to think I'm rude okay my friend and Radzi flying boat group build uh, now 
what I want to do to this one in particular, I would like to use this. 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 And, like you guys call it, some plaster from Paris on a wood base like this. Okay? The rest you will see. I don't even know if it if this one still if it fits on this base here. Uh, I believe it will. But I'm just talking right now. Uh, I always wanted to do a water diorama. I also believe that you can do water without this. This is expensive, per se. Do you know the diorama I've made? Just a minute, please. This one, and I am sorry, I have already showed this to you before, but I'm just using this in his, as an example. This diorama I've made, you guys remember, obviously, it's uh, very recent. I actually, to do this one, bought this, which arrived yesterday. Now, as you guys know, this is already made for eight to ten days. <sighs> Honestly, and uh, I am going to be slapped in my face probably for saying this but uh it's it's guys i know it's contradicting but i bought this 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 and this which are the same i can remove one in order to do water well, if I can do this sand effect without even needing this, which is good, it's a very good product, okay? I'm not saying it's not because it is. I know that I can do water without using these products. We all can. We all can. A little bit of plaster. Here, you just mold it, paint it, highlight it. Okay, a little bit of this, and you got water done. But I never do it, I never did water, so I want to test before I go any further. And if I lose any money now on these, that's a guarantee that I won't lose any money ever at all. So, this is my review of the kit and my intentions on the Chancer group build. Uh, I'm not doing any surprise on this one. I'm doing this as a... just as it is, so... I wish you all the best. Keep modeling, please, okay? Uh, this is a water effect right now, Atlantic blue, okay? This is the Pacific blue, which obviously I will use this one. They, they hadn't um, channel, uh, <laughs> channel blue so <laughs> okay this is for doing a white foam of the waves which you can replicate with a simple brush but okay and this is still water this is to do still water not ocean water but uh, 
I thought I should show this to you, okay? Well, guys, all the best to you and uh, keep modeling, okay? I hope you enjoyed this one. I will do some more on this format, so all the best to you, okay? Keep modeling, guys. Keep modeling.